So anyway, welcome back to the channel for I'm the one, the only review gamer. As you can often tell by the title of the video, so we're doing a review on Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noah. So anyway, as you all may know, if you guys have ever seen one of my previous videos in the past, you know how I do reviews. I talk about the good, the bad, and just my overall opinion on the show. We're talking about the for each episode. But anyway, so anyway, let's start with the good. The good thing I like about the show is they actually have they have a weakness. They actually have like a real weakness. Like if they use their greatest superpower, like the uh, catalysm for Cat Noir or the Lucky Charm for Ladybug, they lose their power and they have to re feed their iguamis to get them back up to being to back up to their super strength. And it makes it more interesting than watching like a Marvel movie. I mean I mean the Marvel characters has they're like so powerful but yet they really don't have like that one weakness is that counteracts everything that they can really do. But anyway, without a doubt, the show is amazing. A little story. Um, when this show actually first came on back in the day, I said this thing, this thing ain't gonna last for one season. Well, anyway, it actually lasted for more than one season. It's it's on its fourth season. That's one of its fourth season for next year. It's already been renewed for a possible fifth season. Season four and season five are coming out. Um, I watched it on Netflix. It was a really great show. I watched all the episodes. Like I started watching the show on a Thursday. I finished watching all the episodes by Sunday. Like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I took three days to watch three seasons of Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. The, the, the characters are really great. They're real made. The animation style, the animation quality in the show was actually spectacular. Um, the music, when they do have music, it's not overdone. It just feels like, hey, that's like they only they only put the music when they feel like they need to have uh, music to for the episode. The, the theme song is beautiful. I mean, I love the theme song. The theme song... I normally a show that has like a theme song. I can't really get into the theme song. Where Miraculous, the, the theme song is really good. It, I mean, it's just so good. Like I don't really want to skip the theme song. It's how good it is. So and the show is quality as quality. I, there's not really one episode I can't really say I did not like. Each episode stood out in the last. Like each episode, like bought this show better and better and better than it was before. And I just don't know how to do that. I mean, you would think a show like this has three seasons. you think that maybe one episode out of each of the possible three seasons would have like, at least that's one really bad episode that you cannot watch. I mean, I know shows that are on Disney Channel that have, I can't, there's some episodes I can't watch. They're so nice. That great. Where... Miraculous, each episode stood out in the last, and so, I mean, there's tons of good qualities on the show, uh, each of the characters stood out, and, and I like how on season 2 and season 3, they started adding, bringing more supervillains, more superheroes to help, uh, Ladybug and Cat Noir, so that was great, um, unfortunately, on season, the final episode of season 3, uh, the, the keeper of the bots gave it up to Ladybug. Unfortunately, um, I just didn't, I don't really, I didn't see it coming. Uh, unfortunately, my prediction kind of did not come true. Um, I was kind of hoping that they would still remain close since they, he kind of helped them come to Ladybug and Cat Noir that they are today. But unfortunately, now in season four, it looks like Ladybug's going to be the miraculous holder. Um, so that's gonna be even like a great, quite greater quality for Marinette. Um, Marinette is still trying to get used to the powers that she has because she's still a teenage girl in either middle school or high school. Can't really be sure. I really don't know. But the, besides that, it's it's such a great show. And my only complaint is like the main villain, which is Hawk Moth. The Hawk Moth villain, there was, I mean, I like how the Hawk Moth villain was like the main villain 
for season one, but then I kind of was like hoping that Marinette, uh, aka Leibo and Ken or actually defeat Hot Moth on the final episode of season one, but they kept dragging the Hot Moth character from all three seasons of uh, the show. Uh, so I felt like the, the character arc of Hot Moth kind of got a little weaker during the second half of season two. And I just really wanted to, maybe, I mean, I don't care if they keep like, the Hawk Moth character. I just kind of wish they would, like, change the Hawk Moth. Like, have someone new play the, the role of the Hawk Moth. Um, besides that, that's my really only bad part about the show. Um, like, we already talked about the good. We already talked about the really only negative part of the show. Um, I mean, I really wanted to see Marinette and... I guess she's been crushing on ever since season one really get together, but fortunately it went the other way around. She's with Luga, maybe possibly Luga, and she's with her, their fencing partner, unfortunately. Got kind of hoping the, the Marinette and I forgot like his name. He plays Cat Noir would have got together. Like Ladybug and Cat Noir got together. That'd be so much <laughs> an amazing storyline they would have went with, but unfortunately they didn't. Um, I mean I can't really say this complaint because it's not it didn't happen. But I wish it would have happened. Like maybe, some maybe something on season four would get a little spicy between those two, and maybe they will end up together. I don't know. I'm not the director. I'm not the producer. I'm not the one writing the show. I'm just a I'm just a fan watching the show for fun. And without a doubt, it's such a great show. It, this movie show is such a great show. I can't really thank it enough. I I never seen a show as miraculous as. Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. That's how spectacular this show was really was. Um, just my overall opinion. If you guys have been hesitating, if you guys already have Netflix, if you guys have been hesitating to watch Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, give it a chance. I'm like 75% sure you guys were really enjoyed the show. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't expecting much out of it. And the show blew me out of the water. I mean, I really... I'm losing that phase literally. That show, Miraculous, Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, blew me out of the water. I mean, I am a huge movie fan. I can probably, I, I mean, like a little story that I never told anybody that you guys are watching this video right now. Only people in my close family actually know this. So, the guys that you guys are watching this video right now don't even know this. I watch the same movie every single day. For an entire year. You might be wondering what that movie is. Well, it stars Dove Cameron, Sophia Carson, Cameron Boyce, and Boo Boo Stewart in the Disney Channel original movie, Disney's Descendants. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Descendants. Out of any movie I can watch every day for an entire year, it had been that Descendants movie. But anyway, we're not talking about the Descendants video. If you, I mean, if you guys want to see my Descendants videos, I've done tons of Descendants videos in the past. And I might be doing possibly more Descendants videos in the upcoming near future. Um, I do want to do a special one uh, to represent Cameron Boyce. Because um, he passed away last year. And he's such a great kid. And he created Carlos Seville. Wonderful. So I want to do a review on all the Descendants movies, and I already did a ranking video. That ranking video actually still stands to this very day. Um, so I, if you guys want to watch that, I might post it down in the description box. But if you, you can always go to the channel and type it up. I'm pretty sure, not quite sure, but just my overall opinion. Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, 75 percent. I mean, I would give this show an A minus. No. No, this show is way better than A minus. I'll give Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir an A. And I will give Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir a 9.8 out of 10. And I also give Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. A 98%. So 
So guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys good into this video. Let me know. Let me know in the in the, in the comments in the comment section down below. How well do you think I did on this video, guys? If you guys like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. It gives this, it gives it helps me know if you guys want to see more of this type of content along the way. Uh, please let me know. Um, I know this is kind of really, a little bit rushed. I, in the original video, I went more detailed, but I had a and and when I went to upload that original video of my review on Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, um. I went to upload it like literally today for tomorrow and the video was so dark I could not even watch it. So I'm recording it daylight. I got my two lights. Oh, I only got one light right now. I need to get my other one. So hopefully I can record at night again. So anyway guys, see you next time. Alright, bye.